Hi everyone and uh, welcome uh, back to this electrical B7 power system engineering uh, BEO practice problems. I will uh, start from this video instead of solving a specific question, I will try to solve basically concepts related to the exam of course, but instead of having just one specific question, I will a branch out and we're trying to explain more and more concepts related to that specific question. This question is about basically about the phasor uh, diagram. And here it's asked to use the pair unit values. So the number, it doesn't really matter. And we use the transformer approximate model, which is this. This is the transformer approximate model where R equivalent, X equivalent basically represent the winding and RC and XM represent basically the, the core. And you they want to here to see that what is the values or how the look the phasor diagram looks when the transformer is delivering rated power at 0.8 power factor leading. You need to show the primary voltage V1, the secondary voltage V2, the input currents I1, output currents I2, the core loss current, and the magnetization current. This is your IC, and this is your basically your IIM. Then I will repeat the same thing, but instead of 0.8 power factor leading, it will be 0.8 power factor lagging. So let's start. So we start always from here, from the secondary side. So we start with your v2 this is your v2 as a magnitude of one basically an angle of zero now here there is two equations that i'd like to represent in the phasor diagram the first one is your v1 is equal to v2 plus i2 times r equivalent plus jx equivalent or equal to v2 plus I2 R equivalent plus J I2 X equivalent. So this is the first equation. This will give me V1. And after putting I2 in the phasor diagram, as we will see. The second equation, your I1, which is a KCL, is equal to IC plus IM plus I2. So we need to have these three three currents okay so now we have i2 now i2 this is a leading power factor so basically your i2 will have this is your i2 and the angle it is cosine inverse of 0.8 which is 36.9 because it's leading the current angle will lead the voltage angle now Remember, we need to add these three vectors to get V1. So I will move this vector in parallel here. So this is your I2. So this vector is the same as this. So when we move the vectors in parallel, we are not changing anything. Now we have I2 times R equivalent. R equivalent is just a scalar. So this vector will either increase or decrease. Let's assume it's increased a little bit. So this is basically your I2 times R equivalent. Then we have the third vector, which is I to X equivalent, but there is a J. So this vector will be lagging or will have a 90 degree here with this vector. So there will be here, this is your J I to X equivalent. Now we have the three vectors. When we add the three vectors, basically we will get our, this is your V, sorry, V1. This is your V1. Okay, so we got V1, we got V2, we got I2. Still, we have the th other three currents. So let's see how to do that. Before that, let me change basically the, uh, the pointer color. Okay, now we need to find IC, IM. We already know I, I2. Okay, now where is your IC? IC is basically in phase with I1 because... Basically, your IC is nothing but V1 divided by RC, and RC is a scalar, okay? So this, your IC will be here in, in phase with this, okay? So this is your, basically, your IC. Now, remember, I1 equal to IC plus IM plus I2. We have already I2, so I will move this vector parallel here, okay? It will be like this. So this is your... 
I C. Okay. So this is your I C. This vector has to be parallel with that. Then we will have I M, which is again 90 degree with this. So this will have here your I M. So I2, I C, I M, when you add all of them, you will get your I1. So that is the phasor diagram that incorporate everything. Now, how this will be changing if basically I change the power factor now to be power factor lagging? Nothing, nothing big will change. So basically what we have here, this is your V2, your I2 now will be lagging. So it will be like this. So this is your I2, and this is angle 36.9. We move I2 here and multiply by R equivalent. So we'll have here this vector, which is your I2 R equivalent. 90 degree with this is this is your JX equivalent I2. We add these three vectors, then we will get our, our V1. Okay, just clean this a little bit. Okay. So uh, this is basically how uh, we do that. So we just add this three vectors. So we will have your your v1. So that is the the total. Now you need to have basically uh, again I C. Now I C. Let me change the color again. Same thing. So your I C is basically uh, will be in phase with v1. So this is your I C is your IC. So bring this one here in parallel will be something like that. And then we will have IM 90 degree with this. So this is your IM adding, this is your IC, adding these three vectors, you will get your I, I1. So this is how we can do the phasor diagram for a leading or for a lagging uh, power vector.